So it's round robin game number two. John McIsaac and Chris Rooney are the referees. And we are underway from Edmonton. Getting the lead is, uh, is, is imperative. Now, you tell that to Vegas. Obviously, they scored four goals in seven and a half minutes. But for most teams that plug along like the Blues do, there's a shot. They score! David Perron set up in front from Sanford, and Perron gives the Blues a 1-0 lead. First even strength goal that the Blues have scored so far, so they wanted to get off to that early lead. They did so. They got off to the lead against Colorado, but they didn't really play well after that. And last year, the Smythe Trophy winner, O'Reilly, led all players with 23 points in last year's Stanley Cup playoffs. Here's Shant. Pass in front. Rebound. They score! Has his head up and he's looking for Jordan Cairo. Whiffs on it, off the heel. Here's Theodore, who at the goalpost moments ago, that shot blocked by Bortuzzo. And grabbed by Stone. Across, Martinez to Theodore, he scores! And a power play goal, and it's now 2-1. to one. Angelo goes down, he wants to be the goaltender here, and it ends up screening the goaltender. Goaltender easily. And now Marsh or so, out of the box. At the line, a drive by Holden, and a save, and they score on the rebound as Tuck. After he gets it here, protects himself from Bozak, rolls off, and then goes right to the post. A smart play, no, nobody of you notices where 89 is. 27 goals on the year. Now pass in front again, tipped on goal, rebound, they score! Tuck! He gets his second of the night. The former first rounder of the Minnesota Wild, they gave him up in the expansion draft. Here's Dunn around for O'Reilly. He gets it from Sanford. And O'Reilly a pass. Pareko walks in. And he waits. Flurry out of the goal. Wrap around. They score! Pareko did it himself. As Flurry was too aggressive and it's tucked in by Pareko and we are tied. This is patience. Nice pass. The late man coming in. Brower with the middle lane drive. Going hard to the post. He causes a lot of havoc right there. O'Reilly and Sanford with the assists. Now the Blues come back in and they score and they go back on top. It is four to three. This is just typical of boy these games have gone, but what a brilliant pass by Tyler Bozak. Nicholas Watt, number 10, pass in front, a shot, they score! I believe White Cloud in from the right point. Hand shot, gets in a good athletic crouch, and he just lets this one rip, sneaks by the Blues forwards. Here's Theodore at the line again, Bozak. Oh. Through his legs, though, in tight, Stasny, backhander! And a save by Binnington. What a pass by Stone, oh my. He's a cousin of a good buddy of mine, Joey Koser. Two different styles of players. Look out, Riley Smith, short-handed. Oh. And a glove save by Binnington on Smith. A short-handed try there. What a save. And a save like that. You see Perron dives. Riley Smith pokes it ahead. Forehand, backhand, waits for the goalie. He might have been able to hold on to it a split second longer. But we'll get a real good look at his ability to take it on the forehand here. Get the goaltender to go down. But boy, oh boy, Binnington. Mark Stone with it. Blues don't clear it. Here's McNabb to the net. They score! may have hit either Falk or Stone. The Vegas Golden Knights really worked that puck around. And Here's David Perron. And off balance, good play, but it's off O'Reilly's stick. Kept in, long shot, they score! From the right point, the Golden Knights have taken a two-goal lead. In the right spot, it ends up going to Theodore. And look at this wrist shot. Doesn't get redirected, but you can see Vince Dunn's right in front of the goaltender. Nothing more frustrating than that. This is an easy shot for a goalie to stop, but it buzzes by Stevenson, and it buzzes by Dunn, who obviously wasn't expecting the shot. Otherwise, he either blocks it or gets the heck out of the way of the goaltender. Instead, it's uh, now a two-goal. Now at the line. Shot by Dunn wide, and that is going to do it. As the Blues fall to 0-2 and round Robin.